What is up, guys? It's Alec here from NJ's Elite. And today we are joined by NJ's top player in the state of New Jersey, just ranked by NJ.com, and three-star athlete Desmond Ingbenosun. How you doing, Desmond? What's going on? I'm, I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Congratulations. I mean, recently, just about 10 minutes ago, you were named the top player in the state by NJ.com. How does that feel? Well, I'm, a, I'm overwhelmed with a lot of emotion right now because – it, it, it's a happy feeling because somebody's recognizing where you're putting in your hard work. And for them to rank me as number one, it, it feels great right now. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Appreciate it. How have the first few weeks of uh, practice been and school getting back to things, you know, getting back to normal life and getting ready for the season? The first, the first couple of weeks of practice has been amazing because, like, you know, as you know, we was all sitting in the house for so long. So we're excited to move around a little bit. So, it's been exciting on the practice field and school, school is school. So school comes first. So I'm just doing what I have to do on the, in the classroom right now. You committed to Rutgers on May 20th this year during quarantine. You know, what led you to make that commitment? Rutgers gave me the best family, family atmosphere. I felt like I could come to them about anything more than football. Like the other schools I was talking to, always we sat on the phone and we talked about footballs for hours. But when I was on Rutgers, we was talking about way more than we was talking about way more than uh than football. So that's why I liked it. What's your relationship like with Coach Chiano and the rest of the coaching staff? You know, how has that relationship grown in the last few months since been committed? Honestly, I only knew them. I only know them for like I only knew them for a couple months now. But it feels like I knew them for years. It's like they're already starting to develop me and all of that. So it's so it, so it's a great feeling. What do you think about uh, Greg Schiano and, you know, the job he's done so far and the classes he's building and, you know, going to build in the future? Uh, I think it is, he's doing a hell of a job right now. Like the class of 21, that this their, their first real class that they, they put together and it looks stacked. So I like it. When you get to Rutgers, you know, where can Rutgers fans expect to see you playing position wise? They could, they could expect to see me playing anywhere in the secondary, I feel like. They could, ex they could expect to see me making plays on either side of the ball. So it's, it's really up to my coaches. And uh, what are you most looking forward to, you know, when at Rutgers? Uh, I'm looking forward to, be, to win. I'm looking forward to win. I'm looking forward to change the culture at Rutgers. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to everything, really. I just want to enjoy the whole Rutgers experience. And what type of legacy are you trying to leave by the time, you know, you leave Rutgers for the NFL draft or for life, whatever, you know? Legacy I'm trying to, the legacy I'm trying to leave is he had, he had, he had an important part of turning Rutgers around. So that's the legacy I want, I want to leave because the class of 21, we have, a, we have an important role right now. So if we could go in and change things, we'll all have a legacy. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm, I'm hoping for the change, and I, I see it coming for sure. Let's talk next season. I mean, the high school season's coming up right around the corner. Union High School coming off a 12-1 and season. How are you getting your guys ready for the season as a senior captain, leader of the team? Well, I'm keeping my guys in, in, in check. Like, we have a lot of new guys, so our, every practice I constantly remind them, like, what we did last year, has no direct correlation to what we uh, what we're gonna do. So we can't we can't we can't rest on our uh, on our morals because of what we did last year. That's out the window now. We got the rings and stuff for that already. So it's nothing. It's nothing we can do about that anymore. So let's focus and let's get let's do it again. Basically. Yes, sir. Where where can we expect to see you playing position wise next year at Union? Literally, literally, you might laugh. I say this literally all eleven positions. Everything. so what are your personal goals i mean stat wise you, you're trying to go for like a, th a thousand yard throwing rushing what's, what's the deal there honestly i haven't really set any personal goals for myself because like we all have no ultimate goal so if i could if i could rush for two yards and my team wins then that's what that's what we got to do so i haven't really looked into my personal goals yet but I just know we have one team goal. So I, it's nothing about like a personal ego. We have like a team ego. So like, I feel like one team goal is to win, to go A&O, whatever, whatever we got on our schedule to be undefeated. 
team player and a great leader for sure. All right, thanks, Desmond, for uh, joining me today. Congrats on the new ranking, and good luck with everything this season. Appreciate you.